Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to DayX Human Revolution Director's Cut. So, we're in this whole weird situation. Where the story is pushing us that way, towards that camera. And I want to sneak this way and check out this area some more. Oh man, I just blew a hack. There's this whole problem where unless I can find the security hub I think I'm boned down here there's cameras everywhere there's everything everywhere let's see these all look like detention cells well, honestly, you know what they look like? They look like pictures that they didn't have time to finish animating this. So there's a rocket launcher here. I could throw an EMP down there. Definitely. They so look like pictures. Um, because that's all they are. Right, can I jump over there? No, I can't. So I'm gonna wait till this guy's not looking this direction, and then I'm gonna run around. seeing nothing is this maybe gonna do it maybe we missed this section okay so yeah we knocked out a guy that was here did we not yeah we did and his body's not there Interesting. That's a new one. The body disappeared. So either somebody walked across, walked by him and woke him up, and then I knocked him out somewhere else, or he just disappeared. I am running up the numbers on knocked out bodies. But it really does beat, defeat the game concept if they are going to disappear after a while. Just to save RAM. But I don't know if that's really a survivable concept. <sighs> Just in the sense that... We go here... We go here. There we go, we start going here. Access granted. There we go. Phase two progress report. We're getting all kinds of info and it would be nice if we were getting some feedback as to how that was giving us experience or doing anything to prove that we are doing well. Alright. So we have a 3-3 three, three and a 2. We've got to get this direction, so we'll take this. And then one clearance here. And then we'll take this. We'll take this. And this. And... We'll take this. Access granted. Here we go. Deactivate that one, that one, and that one. And that gets the cameras off my back. Unfortunately, I don't have enough Praxis points to 
activate the turret. So I think I'm still kind of boned. This turret still is after me. I just turned off all the cameras. Another 100 XP for coming up here. Mostly looking around here and just trying to figure out where we are and what we're doing. All kinds of things. I'm gonna have to pay attention just to what row of doors we're in. These are interrogation cells, I suppose. And this door is open, but I've never been in here. Another vent to search and another thing to hack. We already have the code. It's not about the code. It is about me stopping, st stop swinging around with the wrong control stick. I've realized that I'm doing this. This is a level five clearance, but I gotta get to the thing some way, so. Come on. Fortify. Take. Fortify. All this clearance. 14 seconds. Stop. Nuke. Take it. Granted. There we go. Inactive. Laser systems. This just goes right here to this door, which is over here. And oh man, I missed a hack on that door too. Time to luck. Picked up some more sniper rifle ammo. This, of course, just goes through here to this one. And where are we on the map? This would take us to more of this section. So we're not quite ready to get past the detention cells. I want to look in each detention cell. There isn't a lot in, it, in all of them. Let's see. Seems like you can possibly close the door, but I'd be afraid to lock myself in here. Nah, you can open and close them? Okay, fine. An e-book. Is that a picture of me? No. Kind of looks like me. Another thing to hack. <sighs> you know what's strange is I think I'm doing the right thing too. I honestly feel that my gameplay style is the right way to play. Access granted. Uh, because when I first played this, well, I didn't play the director's cut, so there is po some possibility that maybe the director's cut fixed some problems. But I certainly didn't have all the augments by the time I was done with the first playthrough of Human Revolution. And this is technically my second playthrough, but it's not... I played it on the Xbox 360 before, and so thus I 
don't really have the Access granted. I don't really have the save game or anything. Your pocket sec secretary thing to read. I guess technically you would call this a FEMA death camp. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, not really. I have no evidence here that they're intentionally going to kill anybody. Or just kill everybody, because if you were going to do that, you wouldn't build a camp to do it. <laughs> you could do it a lot easier a lot of different ways. Ooh. So that's another path. An energy bar. Can always use some more energy bars. And let's see, what does this take us? Seems like there's quite a lot of these interconnected. Perhaps all throughout the all of the area it seems like sniper rifle ammo alright moving on you see anything? it's a couple of normal people if anyone's with here guns. come out now You want to talk? Nope. What are these guys? Just FEMA employees? What, with the revolvers? Hmm. You know, I do have like Bioshock ready to record and I will eventually cover it. But having done this hacking minigame Access so granted. much, right now I think I'm going to need to take a break from hacking just to say, you know what, I uh, had enough of it for a while at least. There we go, a level one keypad. Let's see. Really? You're gonna do this to me? Access granted. There we go. Over here is the bathroom. One of these days I'm going to open one of these and there's going to be a guy in here. An uh, actual enemy. Interesting. I don't think there's... There might be a camera or something. But otherwise I don't think there's anything here. I'll hack this. The codes have gotten very repetitive, I've noticed. Give me that. 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 Come on. Get it. Access granted. There we go. Ebook. Take another cyber boost. Sure, why not? I've got to do some major selling next time I get to a store. Uh, 
And I, I know I kind of have to keep the tranquilizer gun, but I don't want to keep it. I seriously don't want to keep it. Like, what are we shooting for way down here? Access granted. That was way too big of a puzzle. That just goes to show uh, where this hacking minigame can go wrong. Somebody almost certainly handmade all of those. And I thought, I bet they thought it was cool. But that one was just too big. It took up more of the screen than I could see. And the zoom out functionality doesn't work. Ugh. There's, I don't believe anybody left on this level. Alright. Give me that. And that. And that. Good. And we'll get that. Access granted. We got it all. Disable that. Data looter for 75. So if you get every single thing, you do get more experience. So I have been hurting myself by not getting every single node in the hacking. But I, I can't really think that it's going to really change much. This game is so stingy, it doesn't seem like you can ever really break out of its system. Particularly with the Praxis points. If I could just buy Praxis points right now, I would be perfectly set. Some medicine. Some junk back on this side. Uh, yep. I like how you have to kind of look on the side here, that's definitely interesting artistic design stop warm sniper rifle ammo shotgun ammo interesting all right so we hacked that side and then this is just a door there's no power over here let's look over here and hmm, newspaper cyber boost pro energy thing so I think I dropped that you know what, I'm just going to eat this. Use. And it does nothing, and we'll just take that one. For no reason. I seriously doubt we're coming back to this location. So whatever I can't carry with me is probably going to be gone. Oh, for a second there, I thought there was like a credit thing on the edge of the bathroom. But no, nothing in the bathroom. Almost done. So here's a security camera. It seems to be designed to look only down that hallway. Alright, we gotta get this. Reload speed upgrade. So we'll go ahead and drop that. Pick that up.
combine here. I wonder if I should like combine these things on weapons too. That would be an interesting thought. I don't know. If I put a laser scope and a upgrade on all the weapons and then try and sell the weapons, are they... Have I saved myself money, made money? Where are we going? Hmm. How much time do I get if I get the spam added? Not enough. Access granted. So we'll just deactivate this camera. Hmm. Let's see. Medical bay. Ooh, Praxis kits. I'll take the credit, but I desperately want a Praxis kit in here. Hmm. Painkillers. Hmm. Seriously, is there not going to be a Praxis kit anywhere in this medical bay? If I see a medical section, I expect a Praxis kit somewhere. Oh, this sucks. I'm looking really thoroughly. A hypo stem. But no Praxis kit. Interesting. Irritating, actually. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction, too. That's the elevator. Let's check this hallway. Just lights flickering for no reason. See, I think we've been all up there, so we have no point in going up that staircase. And then, yeah, we definitely have been in there, so no point in doing that. Hmm. So, have we been everywhere? I think so, because I think there's just like, on this side, where I'm facing, right behind me, is this square. Here. And I don't think there's anything in this square. If there is, it must only be accessible by punching through the wall. And the same is, I believe, for this side. I feel like they just built it in as we go up and down the levels it doesn't feel like there's anything there so before we go to the medical bay tell me there's a praxis kit somewhere here really no so elevator button we are taking the elevator down one more level to what is clearly the boss fight. How much time do we have? I think we can I think we can do this. Unless we just run into a considerable amount of trouble. What kind of gun do I have if I was gonna take him out? Boy, does this not look inviting. I think I'm I'm remembering this fight too. Uh oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, if, I, if this was the fight I'm remembering, that was a nightmare. It's just all these... Each one of these squares is one of those automated robots that we blew up with the MP, EMP a couple episodes ago. So, if they were to activate or something, we'd be in trouble. But yeah, that's a, that's a robot. And that's a lot of them. There's no way to get up into those holes on the sides either. I think they know we're coming. Just play it safe. whole bunch of computer controlled sections here. I'm not seeing any kind of computer though I can control. Nope. Unfortunately. They have like a box right here specifically labeled. So, nothing to do in there. I do have an EMP grenade. I don't know if I want to use it on Barrett. I think possibly that would explain quite a lot. Uh, he is augmented, so an EMP grenade would be a decent thing to throw at him. In fact, anything would be a decent thing to throw at him. But I'm going to just try the tranquilizer gun. See if that works. This is really what a game is going to prove its whether it can hold to its concept. And I don't think it does. I think it feels the need that you actually have to have a boss fight. And so I think we are going to immediately ch turn around and change. Oh yeah, I am remembering this fight. The way I did it last time, it was really, really difficult. And the way I did it was just cheating. Uh, what I kind of need right now is a shotgun. And I guess I could equip a shotgun. Hmm. I'm going to make a hard save right now. And then we'll get into this. Actually, we won't get into this right now. We're going to stop right here because we're close to the end of this recording anyways. And we will start next recording right with this boss fight because it's going to take more than a couple minutes to beat it. Almost, almost certainly. Anyways, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and to watch every second of my videos. All that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name right though. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.